Okay guys, going to do another wee video of the day. Uh, I'm going to do this CDC sedge. Uh, this is one for Eddie. He likes the, the sedge flies, so hopefully you'll enjoy this one. So, take your hook. This is a size 12. Uh, full and mill hook. You can use whatever size you fancy. Okay, or you use a, a Camasan V170, something like that. Now I'm going to use this kind of colour. So this is a golden olive, so what you want to do is kind of colour match your thread, make sure it's kind of the same kind of colour. You can use a natural CDC and maybe use a grey or a black thread for that. So take your thread down, touch and turns, don't you just about the bend, cut away your waste. Now for the flash, you can use a bit of tinsel, you can use a bit of wool, you can use whatever you want. I like to use this, so this is Prisma. Now this is a dubbing, but what I like to do is take a wee pinch, take a wee pinch and twist it as if you were putting it on the thread for dubbing and then lay that on the top. So tie that down on the top, a couple of turns to hold, double it over, fold it over and tie that down. So that's going to create your tail. Now you can cut that the size you want or you can just pluck the fibres until you get it to where you want it okay so that gives you your tail now what we're going to do is we're going to create a dubbing loop to put the fibres in now there's various tools you can use to do this you can use these clips like this this is for stone flow in Italy which is basically a plastic clip and um, mark pettaging it's got a good wee system as well but I like to use this just a wee simple bulldog clip pick them up for anywhere okay and also I use this wee block, and this is just a bit of foam cut to a wedge shape. And you can maybe see there's all these slots cut in it, it's with a Stanley knife. And then you've got your dubbing spinner itself. So, what basically you do, if you take your foam, and you take your CDC feathers, and I'm going to put two on here. I'm just going to pull the fibres so they're sticking at 90 degrees. And then I've got that about, what, about an inch and a quarter wide. So I'm going to take my bit of foam. So the nearest size to that is probably about there. And what you do is you just press the two feathers into the foam. Like that. Okay. So it's what it's done is it's brought the stalks down inside the foam. And it's leaving the fibre sticking up. So you cut away the sides to get rid of them okay then you take whatever clip you're going to use your stone flow clip your matte pettaging clip whatever clip you're going to use okay i like this wee guy slide that in hold that there and then bend your foam to take out your your uh, hackles your cdc feathers and then trim away the stalks the two stalks are left there trim them away that leaves all your fibers okay so what to do next is create a wee loop in your thread double your thread over create a wee loop now you want to wax that you want to make sure it's well waxed but you can use something like a pritt stick you can use liquid wax whatever you want use your ordinary wax fly tires wax whatever but just put a bit of that on the thread Rub that in, and that helps to create a wee bit of stickiness. So then you're going to take your dubbing spinner and hook that in, and that creates your loop of thread. Okay, so what you want to do now is take those fibres that you've done with the bulldog clip, and you're going to put them in the loop. Put the bulldog clip inside the loop and then bring the fibres forward, bring the thread forward until it just gets to the edge of the bulldog clip. And then close the loop, open up the bulldog clip and that creates that. Now all you're going to do is spin that and then that creates a hackle. Okay. Now, leave that hanging there, just let that sit there now. 
And what you're going to do is put a bit of body on, something but a dubbing underneath. Yeah. Colour match, I like this camel colour. It's called yellow ochre, but it's a camel dubbing. It's quite coarse, but it's quite good. Works a treat. So, pick some of that out. Dub that loosely onto your thread. It doesn't need to be tight because we're going to brush it all through. Okay. Take that down and wind that to form your body. So, from the back, loosely wind it up to the top. Okay. Create your body. And then what you're going to do is you're going to wind your, dub, your um, CDC hackle up through the body. Okay. So just wind that all the way up. Just keep winding that. All the fibres, tuck them in. So it's like a quite close rub. Now I've run out of thread here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my thread down. I'm going to cut, tie that in, cut that off. And it looks very straggly at the minute, don't worry about that. Create another dubbing loop. You don't worry, it looks terrible, but don't worry about it. So, create another dubbing loop. Put some stickiness on it. Leave that there. And get another couple of fibres, or a couple of feathers. Okay. So take off the fluff. Pull it out at 90 degrees, get another fibre, another feather, do the same, lay one on top of the other, create that. Now what I'm going to use is this hackle here as well, to let you see. So I'm going to take all that rubbish off and I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to pull these fibres out and I'm going to lay that on top. So I've got a wee sandwich fibres. I'm going to put that in my foam block. So that's folded the fibres up. And again, cut away the sides. So I've got a mixture of CDC and package in there. And again, take your clip Grip it like that, bend the foam, let you take it out, and then trim away the stalks. And leaving that just sticking out in the air. Slide that into your dubbing loop, slide it up where you want it, hold the thread tight, get your fibres there. Okay. Thread out the road spin that and you'll see it starting to spin okay that's created a wee hackle so I'm going to move my thread to the front and I'm going to wind this pull the fibres back pull the fibres back keep winding just keep pulling the fibres back all the time keep winding You get to the head and then tie that off. So that's your dubbing loop tied off. Cut that away. Okay. So it's still a scraggly mess, but don't worry about that. So what you can do now is if you want, you can put a few horns on. Bronze mallard. Okay. So get two fibres out of there. There's your two fibres there. Separate them. And that's going to be your two horns. Now, I'm not entirely sure how much this does for the fly, but anyway, put them on. Right, so one each side. Just make sure the tips are lining up. And 
put them down each side. Okay, make them as long or as short as you like, to the matter. So, put them on, tie them in, position them where you want them to go, tap them in, hold the stocks back, tie them in, and then just come straight in, do your whip finish, tie that off. So again, very rough wee fly, but don't worry about it, these are fishing flies. Tie that off. Cut your thread. Now the two stalks that were left for your bronze mallard, just bring them forward and cut them away. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your velcro, dubbing brush, whatever you've got, and you're going to tear into this. You're going to really tear into this and comb the fibres up the way. So comb everything up. Okay, come underneath, pull the fibres up. Underneath, pull the fibres up. And keep working that. And what you're doing is you're working that dubbing, the body dubbing, up into the wing. And comb it back, comb it back. Just keep combing that away from the underside all the time. You get a good nice mix there, okay? You'll get a few straggly fibres, but just pop them off. It's no big deal. Okay. Now if you get a couple of fibres underneath that you're not happy with, you can always snip them away if you need to. Right? But that's pretty good. That looks pretty good to me. Clear that away. Just keep combing it back. Spend a minute or two combing these fibres. Working that dubbing for the body into the wing. And that's what creates all the air, the air pocket. Now these wee sedges work brilliant when you fish them on the surface and then you pull them so they actually sink. So they'll pull them down below the surface and then you stop and they wobble back up to the surface like a hatching fly. So you pull them down and they wobble back up at the surface and the amount of times a fish grabs it just as it hits the surface is unbelievable. Okay, same sort of way as a, as a bubble sedge. But that's it there. Okay, so you can change the body colour, change the, the CDC colour, use natural, use any colour you like, different retail fibres, whatever you fancy. Okay, CDC Sedge. Hope you enjoyed that.